Hey everybody, welcome to the very first video of my new YouTube channel. Uh, it's going to be called Texas 911 Dispatcher, that's me. Um, and we're going to be talking about all kinds of things uh, dispatch related. But before we do that, I wanted to just do a video of who I was, uh, what this channel is going to be about, and uh, just kind of a intro, so to speak, of, of all the stuff I'm going to be doing. So first off me, uh, my name is Curtis. I have been a 911 dispatcher for about 16 years, since about 2005. I love what I do, I love my job. I love going to work, I love being at work, I love the guys and girls that I work with. Um, it, it's just a great job and a very rewarding job, but also a very stressful job. And it's not for everybody. So let's talk a little bit about me. First off, what kind of got me into uh, uh, into being a dispatcher? In 1995, while I was still in high school, I got my amateur radio license. And I started using it. And one of the parts of amateur radio is a thing that they call a net. You know, a net is basically just a bunch of people getting together on the same frequency at the same time and talking about stuff. Now, there's different types of nets, and, and I'll, I'll put a link up here as well to my other YouTube channel that deals with amateur radio and what it's all about. If you're interested, you know, you click on the little link there. Anyways, so one of the aspects of it, of, be, of being on a net, is the person that's in charge of the net. And they're the ones that tells people when they can talk or pass traffic or, or whatever, you know, do different radio frequencies and stuff like that. Well, I realized that I was good at that. I was good at the multitasking. I was good at uh, talking on the radio. And at the time, it wasn't really something that I saw making a career out of. Well, I was wrong. And I have made a career out of it. So I graduated high school in, in 1997. And I went to college and uh, got my associate's degree in computers and graduated in 98 and then over the next like uh, six years or so I did several jobs that were somewhat computer related and I enjoyed it but right about uh, 2004 or so um, I realized that there was something that I could do um, that kind of paralleled uh, what I enjoyed doing with amateur radio, and that was to become a 911 dispatcher. So I started applying, and I put an application in. I didn't hear anything for a long while, uh, about six months or so. Uh, I put another application in. I still didn't hear anything, and uh, all the while I was still working this job that was, you know, just basically mediocre. It was a job, and I got, I, you know, brought home money and stuff like that. But I really didn't enjoy it. Well, one day. Um, I got a call from the supervisor at the local sheriff's office where I had applied uh, asking me if I wanted to come in for an interview. So I did. So I went in for the interview and um, did the interview, did good. They went through the background check, the whole nine yards, and decided to hire me. Um, and in a later video, I will be doing about the whole hiring process, the background process, uh, tips on, on stuff you, that you need to do and stuff like that. So make sure you, that you subscribe to the channel so you get notifications on those videos. Anyways, I started in 2005 um, at my local sheriff's office here where I live. And I really, really enjoyed it. Um, I did all my training on my on-the-job training, which took about four months to do. Um, I really took to being a dispatcher, you know, like a duck goes to water. And I really excelled at it. Two years go by, I'm still doing, you know, still loving the job. I become a communications training officer and I start training people. And since then, I've trained, oh, probably 30 people or so. Uh, some of them have gone on to be supervisors at other agencies. Uh, some of them didn't even make it out of training. So, I mean, it, this job is not for everybody. And if it's not for you, then don't be afraid to say so. So I worked there for about four years, and then in uh, about 2009 or so, 
my county was splitting the law enforcement with the fire dispatch and I wanted to get in on the ground floor of being a fire dispatcher and starting this dispatch. So I quit the sheriff's office and I started over there. I actually started a couple months before we went live. And I was able to help set up the CAD, get everything in, uh, do policies and setting up the consoles and all that stuff. And I really enjoy it. Um, I became a, a fire dispatcher. Um, and during that time, during the first couple months or so that I was there, um, I was able to get my intermediate license. And, um, unfortunately while I was there, nothing, the years of service didn't count towards my license here in Texas. Uh, we go through TCOL, which is the Texas Commission of Law Enforcement Officers. Um, so my time didn't go towards it, towards my license. So I kind of lost like five years worth of time there. Um, but anyways, I did that. Um, and while I was there, I got married to my beautiful wife. And then a few short years later, uh, we became foster parents. Um, we were foster parents for about two years, had 25 kids in our home, and ended up adopting three of them um, at the end of those two years. And uh, they've been ours since 2017. Um, after about five years there at Fire Dispatch, I decided that I wanted to go back uh, to dispatching for law enforcement as well. And I, I found a uh, agency next to the county where I live at um, and applied and was hired. And I've been there ever since. I've been there about six years now as of this recording. Um, and I love it. I love the place. I love the community. I love the people that I work with and I love the job. And you know, they say, if you love your job, uh, if you love what you do, you'll never work a day in your life. Um, so that's what I do. That's my job. That's my career. And it's what I love doing. So that's me. Let's talk about this channel. What is this channel going to be all about? So I'm going to be doing videos, things on tips on how to be a dispatcher, um, about stuff that would be interested in for people that potentially want to be a 911 dispatcher or are uh, just starting out their career as a 911 dispatcher, helping them with little things, uh, just little nuances on uh, how to do stuff, how to handle certain calls. Um, different aspects of the job, handling stress, stuff like that. Um, let me preface all this by saying that none of this stuff will count towards your license if your state license is it, uh, but it will be good information for you to have. Um, I'm also going to be doing stuff like uh, reviewing um, software and hardware potentially uh, that we use every day, radios, uh, CAD systems, um, microphones, headsets, goods, bad, stuff like that of each of those things. Um, I want to potentially eventually do interviews with other dispatchers. Um, I'm going to be doing stories about calls that I've taken um, and potentially even calls that other people have taken. So if you are a 911 dispatcher and you want to share your story and have it here on my channel, uh, just let me know. I will put a link or an email, uh, my email, down in the description below. Um, and, and send me your story, and I'll share it here on my channel to, to you know, get a, get a good laugh, get a, a good learning experience, uh, and whatnot. Um, you know, there, there's so much stuff that I want to do. There's so much stuff I want to talk about. And you know, the other channel that I have... Uh, dealing with amateur radio. When I first started it, I, I had a choice. I had a choice between amateur radio and 911 dispatching. And I thought at the time that 911 dis or, uh, amateur radio would be the better thing to do. And I have done that, uh, but it hasn't really... I, I've kind of gotten out of it. Um, I don't have a radio on my truck anymore. I don't talk on the radio anymore uh, at home with my amateur radio. And I don't do a whole lot of stuff with it. So I've kind of, you know, that, that hobby's kind of gone to the wayside. But I have this career that I love. I love sharing with people. I love teaching people. And so I figure, why not? You know, let's go ahead and give this a shot. See if there's anybody out there that wants to watch these videos and, and learn from my experience. Um, and, and go from there. 
Um, you know, this this channel is not going to be a strictly uh, set set up, and you know, videos done were uh, in a on a on a set or a, a same location. You know, nice neat desk, and nice lighting, stuff like that. It's not going to be that way. I mean, here I am sitting on my back porch. My kids are playing out in the yard, and I'm recording this video. Uh, this is what it's about. This is what 911 dispatching life is about. Um, it's not all about tips and tricks. It's about how to deal with life um, and doing what life gives you. And so I figure, why not? You know, just just go easy, do stuff that, um, you know, just just be myself, and do it wherever. Um, I hope this doesn't backfire on me. I hope not having a nice set and a nice camera and stuff like that is, is not going to to limit what I'm going to do. But this is what I want to do. So if you like this, um, if you think you might be interested in some of this stuff, please make sure you click on the subscribe button um, down in the bottom right-hand corner right over here. Uh, as well as click on the bell icon and change it to all so you get notifications on every video that I will be posting uh, please share this with your friends, uh, with potential dispatchers, with new hires. Um, share my channel. I'm going to be having a bunch of stuff on here. I have a bunch of stuff planned. And I'm also going to be curating other people's videos on my channel as well. Some stuff that I use in my training uh, that I found on the internet. Thank you for taking the 15 or so minutes, whatever this video has, has gone so far. Thank you for taking the time out of your busy schedule to watch this intro video to my channel. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. Check me out over on TikTok as well by the same username, Texas911 Dispatcher. Um, I have a bunch of short videos over there um, and just kind of a, a behind the scenes type thing um, with dispatching um, and stuff like that. So I will be doing stuff over there and stuff over here. So please make sure that you follow me over there as well. Um, anyways, that is it. That's all I got. So thank you very much for watching. And until next time, y'all, have a good one.